All right, we're back with part four of Eddie Hall, the Beast, run for the WWE. And I'm, I'm going to be shutting the microphone off and just letting the game play out. So here we go. In a couple of seconds here, I'm sorry, I got to get a couple of things together here. Give me a couple of seconds, but in the meantime, I'm shutting the microphone off. Troy, so good to see you, man. You too, champ. Your big victory solidifying your status as the only champion on SmackDown has Miz in the most cheerful mood. Believe me, the whole team is delighted with you. Sarcasm for sarcasm. I dig it. What do you and our must-see general manager have for me now? A live interview on The Bump that you're already running late for. And believe me, you don't want to miss this. Oh, I won't. I've never been more eager to tell the WWE Universe all about the Miz's stellar leadership. Great. There's a car waiting outside. It's not a limo or an SUV. It's actually a compact rental car that you'll be driving yourself. And you owe us $74.38. And it will actually be more than that if you don't fill up the gas before you return it. Wow. You guys really know how to treat your champions. Thanks, Troy. Some say the story was finally completed on night two of WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes won the World Heavyweight Championship at last. But it felt like a beginning to me, Kayla. I agree, Byron. But our guest at this time is also in the midst of an incredible story. Please welcome the man who won the main event on night one, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Welcome, champ. Huge night for you at WrestleMania. Thanks, Byron. First, congratulations to Cody. He's been in the hunt for a long time. From one champ to another, here's to you. As Cody begins his championship journey, yours is becoming a marathon. I remember right after you won the WWE Universal title, Roman Reigns joked that you wouldn't last a month. Now it is day 666, and ooh, uh, hope that's not bad luck for your upcoming match. Wait, do you know something I don't? What match? Uh, yes, it wasn't meant to come out that way, but we do have some significant news to share on that front. Way to blow our big reveal, Byron. Anyway, Miz gave us the exclusive on your next championship defense. Well, I'm here. Might as well say it. Before I do, just remember, we're only the messengers. This is straight from The Miz. You will defend the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against five other superstars in an Elimination Chamber match. I think Miz's words were actually, I'll put the toughest opponents from his past inside a cage and see if he's lucky enough to survive. Ha, 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 ha. So... Uh, thoughts? I'm not phased. Sure, this will be one of the greatest tests of my reign in the Elimination Chamber. And Miz can bring out all the heavy hitters he wants. But I'm not going to need luck. Luck isn't going to enter the picture. They used to call me the Dark Horse. But now the WWE Universe knows that I am a workhorse. I'm going to out-hustle every man in the chamber, and I'm going to walk out still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion because Miz sets him up, and I knock him down. So, anything else you want to cover? Uh, I think you made your point.
Look at the smile. You look entirely too happy to be a general manager. I finally got the champion I should have had for quite some time. Cody? Good for him. Good for the business. He's an amazing talent carrying quite the legacy. I'm proud of him. I get your relief. The World Heavyweight title gets passed around so much over on Raw that it must have been hard to keep track. Hopefully Cody can hang on to it for a while. Hopefully you can hold on to the WWE Universal Championship through the Elimination Chamber tonight. Miz has assembled quite the rogues gallery. Yeah, consisting mostly of guys I already beat. Overconfidence can blind one to unseen threats. I'm coming up on two years as WWE Universal Champion, Regal. I think I've earned a little confidence at this point. Well, how you've changed. It would be interesting. What? If you get through the Elimination Chamber, perhaps Miz and I should start a conversation about the match everyone expected on your first night as champion. You versus Cody Rhodes. The match everyone expected me to lose? Bring it on. Wonder who the odds would favor this time. A fine question indeed. One that's been hanging over my head for a long time. I'm thinking maybe you're right. It's time we answered it. Maybe. But we'll talk more later, if you can survive tonight. Good luck. from parts unknown weighing in at 323 pounds King! for over 16 years this structure has played host to wwe's greatest warriors of WWE. And introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. He's arrogant, he's abrasive. does not look happy tonight. And introducing the challenger from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owen! Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. And introducing the challenger, Ohio, weighing
The champion is ready to break free and unleash chaos. Five top challengers are all vying for the WWE Universal Championship. And not just any challengers, mind you. Some of them have revenge on their mind. You said it, Cole. Beating a man once takes skill. Beating a man twice takes guts. Beating them in an elimination chamber takes... Well, I just don't know if the champ has what it takes. Well, I'm eager to see what the champ is made of tonight in this daunting title defense. And driven down in the final prayer. Looking for an early pin. And a kick out. He might just be trying to frustrate his opponent a little with that attempt. Snap married over. Both arms chicken wing. Can they roll through? Yes. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Check out this display of power. Lift it all the way up. And can't prepare your face for that. The challenger's looking shaken. Falls County kind of Anywhere matches are uniquely demanding. He should know that. Not a thump. Up next is Kane, and he's going to leave it all inside the chamber. Wow! That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Escape the attack. Shot to the midsection connects. Bam! Down he goes. Oh, the thump. Whoa, not quite yet. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Oh, what a right hook. chamber and he goes for the pin and he stops the count lucky him out of the ring and on the chamber floor now big knee the champ trying to roll with these hits furious offense from rollins his temper's flaring right now into the neck breaker It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Cover, cover! And now Kane. And the champ only gets a count of one. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Goes into the pin. Doors open. Now Drew McIntyre will get in on the action. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. He's been placed in the corner now. Paying it right back with a reversal. Off into the pin. Two stays in the fight for the title. The end was in sight. Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking. No! Rollins with the stomp. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. And now we have Kane on the outside now. No place is safe in the Elimination Chamber, but the outside is especially dangerous. Shifts it back out to him. Taking off their feet. Will it be? Oh, I thought the champ had it. How in the world did he kick out? Confidence 
from Logan. McIntyre turns things around. Challengers are all vying for the WWE Universal Championship. Not just any challengers, mind you. Some of them have revenge on their mind. You said it, Cole. Beating a man once takes skill. Beating a man twice takes guts. Beating them in an elimination chamber takes... Well, I just don't know if the champ has what it takes. Well, I'm eager to see what the champ is made of tonight in this daunting title defense. Check out this display of power. Lift it all the way up and driving them down for the final prayer. Penny predicament, shoulders down. Not even a two count for him. Boom, right the button. Nice arm drag. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. He knew he'd get hurt in a match like this. You can't avoid it. 
the outside now, one of the most dangerous places to be in the elimination chamber. And now we have Kane, who's surveying the chamber. Dominance, wow. power slam. Oh, man. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Wow. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. Face first off the knee. Oh, my God. A DDT. Spiked him. Well, Nelson. Dragon suplex. Not quite there yet. Too early in the match to end it. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Boom! Implanted by the DDT. Side headlock applied. Oh, a good gotcha. measure. Oh, man. Seth freaking Rollins joins the fun and looks to release a firestorm of brutality. Cover! Gets the shoulder up after one there. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Check out this display of power. Lifted all the way up and then driven down in the final prayer. And shoulders are down. And he breaks the count quickly. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Take down. Looking for the cross base. It's cinched in. This could be over. Give up. Looking to free the arm and does just that. Setting up for something here. Oh, God. Face first. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Whatever's playing here can't be good. An alliance formed to take the champ down. Will this be enough? And now we have Paul. Ooh -hoo. A big kick to the gut. Getting back into the ring. And they just busted out and Stop the pin count here. Seth Rollins gonna put his opponent away. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Here we go. Drew McIntyre has been unleashed in the chamber. And a well executed move we just saw there. Cover! Emphatic kick out for the challenger. A truly impressive kick out this late. And quick getting the arm up. Just power out. Vicious right forearm. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And Rollins. And into the count. Two. No, a kick out for Drew McIntyre. Close call. That was almost lights out. Uh-oh. It's going to... We're going to see it. With a stop. The Vince could do it. to the top now. Boom. Wow. Sidewinder suplex. Oh. And he goes into the ring. It's a rapid fire bionic elbow. The, the challenger. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Oh, at the last second. With the title up for grabs. He just kicked out by a fraction of a second. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? The ankle lock. The ankle lock is cinched in. Oh, he's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of there. There it is. Free the arm and does 
just that. Right across the face. Forearm oh. smash! <laughs> and he's able to fight Kane off. And he sends him into the corner. Uh oh, oh Kane waylays him. The devil's favorite demon with the devil's favorite sidewalk slam. The big red monster. Kane lifts him up. Got himself for the. He's got him locked. Tombstone. The champ's oh, That should do it right there. No, he gets the shoulder up. So, so close. That could have been it. Round of the schoolboy takedown. Look at that gash in the face of Kane. You're looking for a neck breaker here. No! Forearm to the base of the skull. Strong punch to the midsection. Lariat! A bad place to be for the challenger. This could do it! Still pretty heavy in there. Five Vinny. superstars in total. A kick out before one by the challenger. Truly cannot believe that didn't even get a one count. And at this point, he's risking permanent injury. He has to be told that discretion is the better part of valor. He's had his bell rung too many times tonight to risk any more danger. Cover! Two count! This elimination chamber match is now down to four entrants. Into the ring now. This is it! Elimination Chamber match. Arm drag, nicely done. But now Rollins. How about one more for good measure? Ooh! Race lock go behind. Up and over with a German suplex. We're not finished yet. Another one. Oh, come on. Enough is enough. German. Oh! Flubbing blow. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Oh my gosh! Seth Rollins. Oh, Seth Rollins with a massive stop. Gonna see a new champ. Makes the cover. And the champ beats the counter early. He didn't even let the ref start the count. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. He's in his grasp. DDT. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. A revolution knee by Rollins. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Up the electric chair, down for the drop. Shoulders down. And now these two are fighting for that final fall. Pulls the trigger. A revolution knee by Rollins. For the win! 
And the count doesn't even begin. Wow. Countered it just in time. Landing the uppercut. Uh, ducked underneath into a German suplex. Knees meet face. Another one bites the dust to the chin. Makes a cover. He manages to kick out. What strength. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot, yet you can't give up now. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. Cover! There's two! Got it! No! Just a two! Good lord, scarily close to three. Heading up, he's thinking back! Using the elbow as a weapon. He was elusive there. Oh, referee in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hopefully he recovers quickly. This could devolve into pure bedlam otherwise. Check out this display of power. Lifted all the way up and driven down in the final prayer. Is it enough? Just won't give up. DDT! Cover! Two! And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner. The WWE Universal Champion has outlasted the toughest opponents from his past. But now, what? I just survived the toughest opponents from my past in the Elimination Chamber. So now what? Do I take some time off? Maybe hit the golf course? Rest up and recover? Nah, I don't think so. See, there's one other superstar in WWE who's actually been champion longer than I have. And I've been hearing rumblings for a long time that he deserves what I have. That somehow he's more worthy than me. I'm talking about you, Gunther. I'm ready to quiet all the doubters once again. You think you deserve what I have? Then come and try to take it. I know you've been dominating, but looks like you might have an even bigger... The Black Heart.
Galloping into history, defying all of There's nothing better than extreme rules where unbridled madness and mayhem reign supreme. There's always a lot of anticipation for a match like this, and as always, with extreme rules, we should expect the unexpected. That seems to be the theme around here. Oh, come on, that's enough! Third time's a charm. Thrown down multiple times. We now know who is in control here, no doubt about that. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Run! He's got his hand no stick! Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Boom! Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Oh. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Well scouted by Champa. Neck breaker. Turns back Champa's attack. Big punch finds its mark. A oh, double knee face breaker. Ooh, stiff punch. And look at the bloody outcome from that last attack on Champa. to the temple. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Oh my gosh! With an uppercut. And now gets tossed into the ring. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. He's got the table, and I can only imagine what he's thinking of doing with it. No! Oh! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. <laughs> Brought down with a DDT! Consecutive power bombs. Avoiding contact. Oh! Oh, propelling into the table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. position here. Through the table with authority! How in the world can he come back from that? Stay down. Pick the splinters out of your skin. Think about your lungs. Taking flight. Body splash. Tommaso Ciampa needs to figure out a solution. Ciampa's resiliency is being tested here. Springboard moonsault! Wow! Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Got to hurt. Tomasa Ciampa in quite a bind. Yeah, not looking good at all. Excruciating. Unique. Taking this to the floor. Kick to the gut, hoisting their opponent up, and driving them down for the final 
final prayer. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, my God. Get out of the way. This isn't going to be good. Slam. Unbelievable impact. Shattering the table and shattering the opposition. And he tosses it back in now. This superstar delivers the rolling cutter and not done yet. Make it a second time. And how about... Yes, they do. Looking for the victory. Two count. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner. The, the dark horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. He was focused and precise, but that still wasn't enough for Ciampa to get the win. I don't know if he'll be able to shake this one off. Listen, champ, I've been thinking. The ring can turn into a right old brawl. Bodies flying and bones cracking. But there's a glimmer of beauty in that chaos. Now, what if we could take all that pain and fury and put it to good use, eh? A charity submission match where the art of the tap-out meets the heart of raising a few quid for those in need. What you say?
Bold move, challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. That's who fortune favors, Troy. The bold. I suppose we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that means you have some good news for me. And Miz has agreed to my request for a match with Gunther? Oh, no. Absolutely not. Miz giving you anything without strings? Could you even imagine? <laughs> no, but I didn't imagine having to deal with you at the airport either. Lucky day for everyone. Gunther could certainly be in the cards, but why rush into it when Miz has so many hand-picked opponents for you? Like Bronson Reed, who you'll be taking on in a non-title match next. You ready to head to the arena? Troy, I did not walk into this airport lounge to take instruction from you. I'll go do some duty-free shopping, and you can wait. But, but, you have a call time. I have to get you to the arena! And now we don't have a main event! 
Not my problem. I'm sure Miz will be stoked at your failure to babysit the champ. Oh my god! It's the Hey Geneva. What brings you to these parts? You finally ditching that indie promotion and hitting the big time? Never! TBD is my home. You know I love the blood, sweat, and tears of the indies. WWE is all gloss and glamour. Seriously? I guess you've missed the last couple years of my run here. Jeez, relax. Somebody's lost their sense of humor since they worked for me. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge with everything that's been going on. You know, if you want to get some extra work in to prepare for Gunther, we've got a TBD show coming up. And we just so happen to have an opening on the card. It would be nice to get some work in to prepare for Imperium. Alright, I guess I can RSVP yes to TBD. What's the ETA? That's the spirit. I'll send you the details. It'll be good working with you again, Geneva.
All right, guys, I'm going to take a 10 minute break <clears throat> and I'll be back. I'm going to go have a cigarette and grab myself something to drink and I'll be back to finish out some more of this. We'll be back in a little bit. See you then.